that matters when it moves to that extreme. Biggest pump ever, money supply, and now it's negative. So mm -hmm. follow the money. This inflation is happening everywhere. In fact, the point, the fact that's really scary about it is it leads me to this severe, the most severe economic resets of our lifetime. Hey there, welcome back to Finance Zoo channel. Today, I'll delve into a topic that has been making headlines recently, the potential onset of deflation and its implications for the global economy. You'll hear from the renowned financial analyst and commodity strategist, Mike McGlone, to share his perspective on this important issue. Let's get started. I think we're in early stages of heading towards probably one of the biggest recessions of most people's lifetimes. This is global. It's already the case in Europe. We already have negative PMIs and negative uh, retail sales, and they're still tightening. They might be done. Pretty much the case in, in China, as much as you can believe all the data. But China also helped spark it by uh, the unlimited friendship right before the war, and now their best customers are heading towards recession. Mike McGlone believes we may be entering one of the most significant recessions in recent memory. He highlights negative economic indicators in Europe and expresses concerns about China's role in sparking the downturn. This perspective underscores the global nature of the economic challenge. Mike McGlone believes that a significant period of deflation, a sustained decrease in the general price level, is on the horizon. This could lead to what he refers to as the greatest economic reset. In the U.S., it's a matter of time. Our Bloomberg economics team thinks it's going to start by the end of the year. Yes, they've been early. I've been early at most of my calls, but everything's starting to tilt that way. In the United States, the expectation is that deflation, which results in falling prices for goods and services, is imminent. This anticipated economic condition represents a significant shift in the overall economic landscape. Mike McGlone emphasizes that it might be one of most profound economic resets. According to McGlone, the economic analysis provided by Bloomberg's economics team supports this viewpoint, predicting that deflationary pressures will likely become more pronounced by the end of the year. Although this prediction might seem premature, it is important to note that McLone and his team have often made early forecasts that proved accurate. The notion that everything's starting to tilt that way indicates that various economic indicators and factors align, pointing to the likelihood of deflation becoming a dominant force in the economic landscape. This shift towards deflation can have far-reaching consequences for individuals, businesses, and governments making it a significant concern in economics and finance. So let's start with what's happened. We are in this most significant deflationary period in the history of the producer price index since 1948. It's dropped from about 18 to minus three. So that's 21%. It's never dropped that far that fast ever. It's negative at the moment. That's a year over year. So deflation is happening in the US by that measure. It's a high beta measure of CPI. It's basically about a two beta. And it's happening in China, the world's most significant demand pull engine of growth in Asia for no, most notably about the last two decades. So it's happening. But the bottom line for all inflation is what Milton Friedman says. And we had one of the best, we've had the best example ever of liquidity, excessive liquidity, pumping inflation, and now we're in the middle of the dump. So it's the basics of economics. It's the basics of history. It's the basics of what every lesson we've learned in, in the history of asset prices that pump and liquidity that dump. So deflation is happening in PPI, fact. Disinflation is happening everywhere, fact. The, point, the fact that's really scary about it is it leads me to this severe, the most severe economic resets of our lifetimes. And by life Mike McGlone's analysis is something you should take into account. It's a pretty alarming picture he's painting. He's talking about a significant deflationary trend in producer prices, and that's not something we see every day. When he mentions historical events like the Great Depression, it's a stark reminder of how severe economic challenges can get. Here's where it gets interesting. Central banks, led by the Federal Reserve, are still tightening their monetary policies despite these deflationary pressures. It adds a layer of complexity to the situation, and you've got to wonder what they're thinking. McGlone also points out the massive liquidity injections we saw during the pandemic which were unprecedented. But now, we seem to be in a phase of contraction and uncertainty. And then there are the geopolitical factors he touches on. You've got to keep an eye on the rise of autocratic regimes 
and their influence on global dynamics, the threat of nuclear activity, a scenario we couldn't have imagined during the Cold War, is a stark reminder of how quickly things can change. So what's the takeaway here? McLone's analysis suggests we might be heading into a pretty tumultuous economic environment. It's a reminder that predicting the future, especially regarding the economy, is a complex. Despite many forecasts, the delay in the anticipated recession is due to a mix of factors like fiscal stimulus, monetary restraint, and the lingering effects of that massive liquidity injection during the pandemic. Next, let's talk about macro and leading indicators that Mike follows to support his deflationary case. Okay, the world's the most significant measure of heat, electricity, and fertilizer in both our countries, the US and Canada, is natural gas. It went to 10, dropped to two, and right now it's hovering around two and a half. That dropped 80%, it's the same price as 1990. If that's not deflation, I don't know what is. Crude oil. Crude oil is an enduring bear market. The peak in crude oil, let's, let's all talk of commodities, I guess, a little bit. Those are very, showing signs of what people do. A, a great Canadian pointed out in the book, The, the Price of Tomorrow, Jeff Booth. This, we're so in such a de deflationary environment. Commodities are leading that. They show it. Crude oil peaked in 2008 around 145. It mm -hmm. bounced to a high around 130 this last year. That's a lower high. It's made three lower lows since. That's a bear market. So there's some deflationary forces from commodities. I pointed out PPI. You look at housing, it's just starting to roll over. But it's also, Brian, it's the base effect. It always happens. Here are the key macro and leading indicators that Mike McGlone is following to build the deflationary case. One, natural gas prices. Natural gas prices in the US and Canada are historically low, similar to 1990, indicating deflation. Two, crude oil market. Crude oil is in a bear market with lower highs and lows since 2008, a sign of deflation in the commodity sector. Three, commodity trends. Commodities, including crude oil, show deflationary signs, aligning with the overall deflationary case. 4. Producer Price Index PPI is exhibiting early signs of rolling over, consistent with deflationary pressures. 5. Housing Housing indicators are declining, partly due to the base effect, which typically follows a peak, contributing to the deflationary outlook. 6. Money Supply The money supply in the U.S. has gone negative, with a strong deflationary signal, particularly after a significant increase. 7. Global currency yields. High yields in the US compared to other major countries, such as China, Japan, and Germany, create a deflationary force and contribute to a stronger US dollar. Mike McGlone discussed the potential for deflation and the factors contributing to it. He emphasized a shift from a deflationary outlook to a potentially inflationary one. This shift is driven by an increase in liquidity in the system, which he attributes to the massive amount of money injected into the economy during the pandemic. He highlighted that, for inflation to re-accelerate, the key factor is an increase in the money supply. Mike also pointed out that, when measuring inflation, it's important to consider it in terms of assets that have a limited supply, like gold, to understand the real price changes. He mentioned that most fiat currencies, including the US dollar, have an unlimited supply, and increasing the money supply can lead to rising prices. He discussed the potential for a severe recession in the next 12 months, contrasting with the previous inflation expectation. This shift is influenced by fiscal changes and an impending need to start paying off student loans. In contrast to past practices, he emphasized that the Federal Reserve might not intervene with massive monetary easing during this recession. Mike also mentioned that he sees this period as a significant reset regarding asset valuations, particularly high asset prices. He referred to the previous era of low interest rates as unprecedented and the current environment as a giant black hole affecting all assets. He believes that the market might not fully comprehend the change in Federal Reserve policy and might need to adapt to a new reality where the Fed won't ease as it has in the past. Mike highlighted the risk of a globally synchronized recession, which has never occurred before. 
This situation and ongoing rate hikes by central banks in various countries could be challenging for the market. Regarding Bitcoin, he mentioned that it has appreciated significantly and that he expects Bitcoin to trade more like gold and treasury bonds in the future. He also mentioned that Bitcoin is a leading indicator for the broader crypto market. Mike is positioning for a deflationary outcome and considers U.S. Treasuries attractive, expecting yields to drop in a deflationary environment. He also believes that gold will perform well in such a scenario. In terms of interest rates, he expressed hope that central banks might reverse their current tightening policies and opt for lower rates to allow the economy to recover organically. However, he acknowledged that political and fiscal factors could influence this direction. Mike McGlone cautions you about an approaching deflationary challenge that could prompt a substantial economic reset. It serves as a reminder that the economic landscape is subject to complex and multifaceted influences. The shifting tides of fiscal policies, central bank actions, and global events can profoundly impact your financial world, urging you to stay informed and adaptable in these uncertain times. What do you think about this topic? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Finance Zoom channel. I'll see you in the next video.